Stand by for action. Well, I understand you know, the difficulty and the, you know, the pain it causes for, for many people, and I do understand. Oh, sorry. What's going to come next, because we'll respond to the evidence, but it was absolutely imperative in my opinion. Right, so what is actually going on? Okay, so uh, inflation. Uh, been in the news quite a lot recently. And one of the things you've probably gathered, if you gathered nothing else about inflation, is uh, inflation at the levels that we've got at the moment, double digits uh, on, a, on a fairly regular basis, is a bad thing. And there's uh, lots of policy efforts from government and from the central bank to try and bring this under control. And one of the questions that might have bubbled up in you is if inflation is bad, why don't we aim to have no inflation, uh, which is a really great question. And the, the, the actual inflation target set by the Bank of England, it's part of their, their mandate, is to keep inflation prices going up at around 2%, 2 to 3%. And that's pretty common across the whole of uh, the developed world, actually. Um, why target inflation actually actively going up? Uh, the reason is that it's a balance between what are called creditors, people that are owed money, like mortgage lenders and banks, and debtors, which is people like us who have houses and mortgages. Um, creditors like really high inflation, because if inflation is, is running really high, they can charge lots of money on their debts that they've loaned out to you, uh, and, and they're making huge amounts of income. You, on the other hand, as a debtor, if you're a mortgager, and I don't need to tell you this at the moment, uh, your, uh, your paycheck is being massively eroded by the amount you're paying out. So you as a debtor with high inflation are not happy. On the other hand, if inflation is zero or even going backwards, then uh, creditors uh, can't charge much for their loans. Interest rates will be low, margins will be low, they can't charge much. So they're not terribly happy. It's okay for you as, as a debtor. On the other hand, there is another um, intangible behind this, which is um, if inflation is running at zero and you're a debtor, even though your debts might be low, you're not really making any forward progress. You, your earnings aren't going up, you're not buying more stuff, which is uh, all the manifestations of, of progress and success in life. And taking all these things in aggregate, Central bankers and policymakers and government have decided that actually we need a little bit of inflation so we all feel that we move forward, it's good for morale and it's a 2% is the right balance between creditors and debtors. So that's why we don't have inflation targeted to run at zero. There you go. Uh, and on that note, more next time. <laughs>